Brendan, you have been all over World Cup. You were in Germany not that long ago. I was in Brazil not that long ago. Brazil's not just list missing its best player, it's missing its soul right now. Um, I, you know, we like to think about uh, international sports as a way to compare countries, you know, because it's less bloody than war, but it allows us to see where we stand. Usually that's not true. In this case, it is absolutely true. This result is not an accident. Germany has been planning this game for 14 years, and they've been training players and finding players in a very comprehensive way to get this result. They came up the field with the speed I'd never witnessed in soccer. Is it original to Germany, or are they mirroring some other formula that's worked? No, so what's happened is, uh, you know, in the 90s, uh, the European game opened up and brought in a lot of Eastern European and South American players. And so the number of European players playing the game in these very well-paid European leagues dove. Right. Germany had a terrible result in 2000. Um, uh, they, 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 got, they, they lost the Euro Cup in the first round. They got kicked out. And they all sat down and they thought, we need to fix this. How are we going to fix this? Mm -hmm. And they came up with a very non-German answer. We need talent. In the past, it's the Brazilians who've played with this amazing wellspring of talent that comes out of that. Right. People who are amazing ball handlers. Germany thought, we've only got 80 million people. We're going to find absolutely every one of them who can kick a ball. So since 2002, there have been youth academies all over the country, professional paid licensed coaches. England has, I think, 1,200 licensed coaches. Germany has 28,000. Within that, and we, we addressed this earlier on surveillance, the political ramifications for Brazil. Now, they got to regroup four years out for the World Cup. Mm -hmm. You were just down in Brazil. Yeah. What would you suggest will be the societal impact? I think the win was so lopsided, or rather for Brazil, the loss was so lopsided. When I was down there, everybody I talked to was not taking it out on Brazil. They were not taking it out on Dilma Rousseff. The team was performing so badly in a strange way. I think yeah. Dilma Rousseff is going to get a pass on this one because the, seam, the team was so abysmal that it can't have been anyone's fault but theirs. All right, then is anyone drawing economic parallels here? If you look at the way Germany mm -hmm. planned, trained, organized this, does it say something about Germany? German culture versus Brazil. There are two ways to look at soccer. One is you find your talent. The other is you plan and grow it. So if you're going to get into a, a competition with a country over who can better plan and grow tr players and train them over a decade and fund it over a decade, I think, I think we know that Germany's going to win that contest against pretty much anybody. I mean, I think it is. I think it's fair to call this a metaphor between the way Brazilians approach things and the way Germans. Well, People well, just actually, look at back in the day, I give this to yeah. Adam Johnson, yeah. compared Princeton lacrosse to Syracuse lacrosse <laughs> just like this. When Coach Tierney was the coach of Princeton's lacrosse right. team, it was all about playing a slow, methodical, planned out game. Mm -hmm. And Syracuse had wild animals racing up and down that field. So there Which you go. Which is There's typically what you've seen from Brazil. I was stunned. And, and to your point, Seth, it was so tight. I mean, is there, I mean, last yesterday watching the game, I mean, the, the German players were within like 15, 20 feet of each other and just popping the ball back and forth. So here's the difference to your comparison. Germany has both. They play methodically. They're amazing passers. They move it up through the midfield in a way that Brazil can't even imagine. And they've gone out and they found all these wild animals who can really play the game. They've got both. Germany always had organization on the field. Okay. Now it's got talent. Tell me about Netherlands, Argentina. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I, I don't sucky. see, I mean, Argentina, the way they refer to them is 10 plus Lionel Messi, the best player in the world. Netherlands has got a team. They can do this, what Germany can do, mm -hmm. move it up slowly through the midfield in a precise way. Okay. I don't see, I don't see Argentina okay. pulling this off.